Okay then guys, what is going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're inside a Skull and Bones that has recently just had its beta access play and a massive shout out to Ubisoft for giving me some early access into this game. Skull and Bones is an open world naval combat multiplayer game where you become a pirate as you rise from an outcast to a kingpin. Players can gain more infamy and progress by taking on contracts either solo or as a group of three. This game is questionable and it's one for the ages, but I'm going to be giving this one a breakdown for you guys today. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, make sure you check out our sponsor, Advanced GG, the number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market. My favorite flavor is cherry vanilla, but you guys can catch an array of flavors via the link in the description. Make sure you utilize code CLOUD at checkout for a cheeky discount. And with that being said, we can dive on in. Okay, so although Skull and Bones is described as an open world naval combat multiplayer game do not let this one screw you starting a game at the cutscenes did seem pretty interesting at first although the novelty of them did wear off quite quickly it was fun to watch as an overall although moving from that into the character creator seemed pretty dead to say the least with not many options of customization and even though that was the case the overall system for it seemed pretty good but overall a dull one in my opinion not many options or at least not enough to give you guys a bit of an individuality inside of your character now the game itself starts off pretty damn slow and is almost dead to run through story is basically non-existent and classifies more as a main mission rather than story as an overall seemed pretty dead for me and i just really didn't enjoy it i didn't get much time into it just because it didn't pique my interest now this game does seem to have lost its identity since since it was first announced in I believe 2017 with so many delays inside of this game I think we breached it about four or five different delays before we actually got beta access this year looking at a release of February 14th now originally this game was advertised as a pirate based game which we were all pretty damn excited for as there wasn't really much else on the market bar a sea of thieves which was due to release on the original release date for this game at around the same time but as the years have gone by and delays have happened they seem to have wanted to have a little bit more of a pirate ship play style leading the game to have some really bonkers sort of identity issues where it was neither a pirate ship game nor an actual pirate game now would have wanted a bit more inside of the foot play when it comes to the actions it was a bit of a sad point the only foot play that we actually had inside of these characters was more of a communal area of basement where you were able to see vendors and collect missions and stuff like that as far as on foot pirate play there wasn't really much action to say the least as much as we got to everything inside of there though the most that we got as far as a stretch was a area for some hidden things that you were able to find but even then that was pretty damn linear now the ship play is okay with good dynamics in regards to wind control and speed variances throughout and some pretty interesting customization options to boot. I'd say for me the most fun inside of this game is probably customizing your ship and once the novelty of actually being able to shoot off around the ocean wears off there's not really much more to it. Now this game didn't seem to last too long for me as I lost interest pretty damn fast and wouldn't be a game that I would rate whatsoever but again most games nowadays are down to taste and opinion as an overall with that being said said I would say that this game has a lot of work left before the full release in February and I'm not too sure it's actually going to meet the deadline. We'll be surprised to see whether this game actually has its full release in February with it having so many delays up until this point the game is definitely not ready. Now unless it was intended to be a dull lightweight emotionless playthrough I can't imagine that's what they've put all of this money into it for the process. Now should this game have even been releasing that is yet to be seen as there has been leaks as to how this game has actually processed this game really lost its identity as an overall but yet has been pushed through as a kind of you have to do it as it managed to actually get funded by the singapore government themselves they had a massive contract which essentially meant that ubisoft singapore would initialize a load more jobs inside of the gaming industry and provide for a bit more of an economic value inside of singapore so it kind of feels a bit like they just want to push this game out there rather than actually make it a good game or an enjoyable game it seems to be a little bit more of a 
pass through for the government to actually be able to process through some more jobs and help out the ecosystem inside of Singapore itself. Which if the day before has anything to go by, we know that the people of Singapore really are not seeming to do too well inside of the gaming industry right now. So for me personally, don't expect much from Skull and Bones once it does release in February. Now at this point in recording, I did do a quick Google search just to see what the ratings were for a lot of other players. And it does seem that a lot of people seem to agree with me with an article from Game Rant stating Skull and Bones testers quit game from sheer boredom. Dexato actually posted up an article for Skull and Bones torn apart by beta testers quit after less than an hour. And I think that that pretty much has it all in a nutshell. There is a bit of a breath of fresh air when it comes to the customization of ship options. But as an overall, this game is pretty damn dead. And just to give you guys a bit of an oversight as an online push, Reddit actually has a post with over 11.1 thousand upvotes on it saying I quit Skull and Bones after an hour due to sheer boredom. Ubisoft, this ain't it. In the first hour of the game, there was zero combat and zero excitement other than the combat tutorial at the start, which didn't even work right. You just watch boring cutscenes, endlessly talk to NPCs and do fetch quests. It's literally a walking simulator. And then they for some reason throw you into crafting menus and I don't want to craft a cannon. I have no idea what these items are even are just let me play your game. Also, the dialogue is absolutely horrible. It's so bland and sterile. I just started skipping it and almost never skip dialogue in any game. St skipping dialogue 30 minutes into the game is not what you want to see. I can confidently say I've never played any game with a first hour as bad as this. Ubisoft, I think you forgot the part of the game that was meant to be fun. So yeah, I wouldn't even play this if it was free to play. You'd probably have to pay me. Just my two cents. And that did have 11.1 thousand upvotes on the Reddit page for gaming. This is absolutely bonkers to think that Ubisoft Singapore thought this was an okay push out, especially with the gaming industry being in such a dull place that it is right now. With games like the day before coming out and being able to push into a narrative of absolute crap games, you'd like to think that anybody releasing their game titles around the same time period would be pretty damn careful. It is unfortunate, but it does look like this year of 2023 is gonna go down in history with probably some of the worst games known to man and 2024 hopefully is not going to get any worse we have got some big titles coming up between february and april next year with around three or four big names that i've got to hit the chopping board very soon and see exactly what it is that they get on the online rating scale for me this is just another one to add to the graveyard list skull and bones came one day and was gone the next We've seen it once, we've seen it a hundred times. This for me is not worth downloading, and if you want to save your money, then I recommend slamming a like button on this video and subscribing with post notifications turned on. If you manage to get this far in the video though, make sure you stick an emoji of a ship down in the comment section below, and I'll comment back to all of them. You guys know that. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate all your faces. Like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds.